This Sunday still calls upon each one of us to come back and look at God. Let us turn to the Lord and grow in faith, love, and charity. But in a special way, the readings of today are helping us once again to look in our human life. The first reading, the, the first read, when Job looked at the series of how life moves on, he realized that we are always working. You work in day, you work at night. We are always worried. In the morning, you are worried of how will the day move on? How, when is the evening coming? By evening, even as even we are going to bed, we are again worried when is morning coming? From January to February, we are worried of this. When will I accomplish this task? When will I fulfill this? And in one way or the other, the work that we are doing in many times makes us wear out. There are some people, you used to work courageously. You used to move from one place to another. You used to be called, can you come and give a hand? You rush to that place. But after a long time, they call you and you're like, I can't, the body has weakened. There are people who used to be strong enough, you carry a heavy load and today you cannot. There are other people who have even developed sicknesses from work. You have been working at a given place for a very long time and after around 30, 40 years, you develop a heart attack. You develop lung cancer. Other people have developed psychological issues. Why? They have been working and really they have worked in the normal way. But these things have developed out of work and we ask ourselves, what is all this for? What is life in its entirety? So the reading is again making us to realize that our life surely will not have full meaning unless we turn to Christ. Because in Christ, Christ knows, he realizes the sicknesses we, we, we face. For example, he the mother-in-law of St. Peter. Having been in this life, Having worked so well, the body became weak, like our souls. We become weak. Today you are sick. Today we have COVID in the world. Another day you have malaria. Another day you have a cancer. Where do we turn? And at times people ask themselves, Father, I have done this and this, but in the end, I have developed diabetes. In the end, I have developed a very strong cancer. Father, what is all this to do? Jesus is coming, calling upon us again on this Sunday. May we come to know that even our bodily infirmities, He is ready to heal us. He is ready to give us life and life to the fullest. When the mother of Peter was sick and Jesus healed her, healed her Jesus gave us a very strong and strong message. He realizes the weaknesses we have. He has pity on us, but somebody has to bring us to Jesus. And secondly, having finished healing the mother-in-law of St. Peter, the apostles were telling Jesus that surely, Jesus, other people want to see you. And Jesus told them, I have to go to another town. Today, Jesus is sending you. You are his feet. You are his hands. You are his mouth he uses to preach. He wants to go to another town to preach the word of God, to take their good news. The work we are doing, the life we are going through, surely it is challenging. Surely in the end we fall sick. But we need to hear the good news. How can our work, how can our life have life in the fullest? 
It is in Jesus Christ. And we shall have it, having heard the good news. So, as Jesus is saying he has to go to another village, he's telling you, those of you who have experienced the hand of God, do not be selfish. Use this chance. Go and help another person. From you, God wants another person also to experience the hand of God. With you, God wants another person to have and experience the power of Jesus Christ. Go and share that prayer you have been saying. Go and share that quotation of hope you were having. Go and visit somebody. That is when Jesus is going to move around. But being selfish, thinking for you have attained all and you don't help another, you are convening Jesus only in your home. And Jesus wants to reach all homes. Jesus wants to reach your neighbor. Jesus wants to reach your brother. Jesus wants to reach your sister. But Jesus is going to reach all those people having helped him to go there rather than convening him in a given locality. In another way, the second reading is a message to every one of us, especially the preachers. St. Paul says, we are preachers and indeed we are. But in our preaching, may we not look for honor. May we not look for payment. May we not look for a reward. Because this is our duty, this is our life. May you, go, may you go and preach the word of God to all ends of the world without seeking any earthly thing. Because ha, taking the good news to all creation, we are taking Christ. Taking the good news to everyone, we are going to help everyone to realize even in the vanity of vanities of this world, we can still attain life to the fullest, which is in Jesus Christ. If we are to seek, if we are to seek honor that we preach so well, if we are to seek a payment, we shall get that. But then we shall not receive the heavenly reward. It will be unfair of us to demand something that is physical for the work of preaching. So today, you preachers, go out, preach the good news to all creations. Many times Christians come to talk about preaching. That is for you fathers. It is for the religious. On this Sunday, we are all reminded that in our baptism, we share in the ministries of Jesus Christ a priest, a king, and a teacher. And we are all called upon to preach. Not all of us will be able to stand in mass and preach, but we are called upon by our actions, by our words, by our thoughts, May the world know, may we take to, to the world the Jesus Christ. May our actions speak, may our actions preach, irrespective of whether you are a priest or not. All of us Christians we are called upon. May we take the good news to all creation. May we take the good news to all peoples and where necessary, may you use words to preach. The Lord be with you. A powerful healer, come and heal so powerful, so powerful today. And you will heal so powerful, so powerful today.